Hi, this is Arup from the channel Language and Literature. Today I have decided to teach you modifiers. A modifier is a word, phrase or clause which describes, specifies or modifies another word in the sentence. The main purpose behind the uses of modifier is to give extra information about the word it talks about. For example, she is a girl. Here we don't know anything about this girl. If we add one or two modifiers then we can know more about this girl. For example, she is a good girl. Now we know something about this girl. She is a good and brilliant girl. Now we know more about this girl. This is the function of modifier. Modifier gives extra information about the word it talks about. A modifier can be a word, phrase or clause. She is a good girl. She is a brilliant student. Good and brilliant are one worded modifiers. Similarly, a phrase and clause can be modifiers too. The girl wearing the black t-shirt is my sister. Wearing the black t-shirt is a phrase here and it is modifying the word girl. The person sitting before the table is a good student. Sitting before the table is another phrase which is modifying the word person. So you can see a phrase can be modified. The person who is sitting before the table is my friend. Who is sitting before the table? It is a clause modifying the word person. The girl who is wearing the black t-shirt is my sister. Who is wearing the black t-shirt is a relative clause and it is modifying the word girl. So you can see a word can be uh, modified, a phrase can be modified, a clause can be modified. Whenever we go to talk about modifier, two words come to our mind. One is adjective, another one is adverb. Besides these two words, noun can be modifier too, I will talk about. A modifier can be used before or after a word. The modifier which modifies a word sitting before it, it is called pre-modifier and a modifier which modifies a word sitting after it is called post-modifier. The main purpose of this lecture is to talk about various types of pre-modifiers and post-modifiers. Let's start the class with the description of pre-modifiers. An adjective can be pre-modifier. For example, he is a good boy. She is a brilliant student. Here good and brilliant are the two adjectives here which are modifying their nouns. So you can see adjective can be pre-modifiers. Adjective can be of many types, for example, proper adjective, pronominal adjective, be it demonstrative, distributive, interrogative or possessive adjective, uh, qualitative adjective which has degree of comparison, good, better, best, bad or sourced, quantitative adjective, numerical adjective, an article uh, can be adjective too. All these types of adjectives can be used as pre-modifiers. Modifier. Adverb can be pre-modifier. For example, I am extremely happy. Extremely is an adverb modifying the word, modifying the adjective happy. He drives very fast. Fast is an adverb which has been modified another adverb very. So adverb can be pre-modified. There are various types of adverb. Adverb of time, adverb of manner, adverb of degree, adverb of place, adverb of affirmation, adverb of negation. If you don't know about all these types of adverbs, you should watch another video. I will give in the description section and this video is entirely on adverb. A noun can be pre-modified. <laughs> we know that noun does not modify any other part of speech. But noun can behave like a modifier too. If you separate uh, the noun from the sentence, it is noun. But in many situations, in many contexts, they can behave like modifiers too. It can uh, behave like a modifier too. For example, it's a banyan tree. I love village life. I love city life. If you separate these words, banyan, village and city, they all are noun. But in this sentence, they are modifying their noun, uh, tree and life. So uh, a noun can be uh, pre-modified too. Let's have one or uh, two examples. Yesterday I bought an ice cream box. Ice cream is definitely a noun if you separate it from the sentence. But in this sentence, ice cream is describing the word box and it is behaving like a modifier and it is working here as a pre-modifier as it is set. Uh, before uh, the word box. So a noun can be a uh, pre-modifier. A uh, participle, be it present participle or past participle uh, can be pre-modifier. For example, yesterday I came across some floating flowers. I love watching flying birds. 
floating and flying are the participle and behaving like pre-modifiers. Never by rooten vegetables. Rooten is a past participle. It's a broken chair. Broken is a past participle. A compound word can be pre-modifier. It's a one taka note. I saw a one-eyed man. One taka one-eyed are the compound words and modifying their uh, noun note and man respectively. Uh, so compound word can be pre-modifier. Article can be pre-modifier. I have a pen. How many pen do I have? I have one pen. Here the article A is describing its noun pen. And then let's have another uh, example. The Podda is the biggest river in our country. Podda is a noun which has been described uh, by the article the which has been used before uh, the noun Podda and that is called, and that is why it is behaving like a pre-modifier. So an adjective can be pre-modifier, an adverb can be pre-modifier, a noun can be pre-modifier, a participle be it present participle, past participle can be pre-modifier, a compound word can be pre-modifier, an article can be pre-modifier. Let's uh, start uh, talking about uh, post modifier. Or adjective can be post modifier too. I found everything all right. All right is an adjective modifying the word everything. Is there anyone interested in playing cricket? Interested in an adjective and describing the indefinite uh, indefinite pronoun anything. So you can see an uh, adjective can be post modifier. An adverb can be post modifier too. Look at the passage below. He drives fast. Below and drives are adverb, and they are modifying sitting after the after the word. So adverb can be post modifier. He runs slowly. Slowly is an adverb, and which is describing the verb runs. So you can see adverb can be post modifier. A participle, be it present participle or past particip participle, can be post modifier too. Men. Working over there is a hard working man. Working over there is a phrase describing the word man. The person sitting in front of the table uh, is a brilliant student. Sitting in front of the table is a phrase and it is of course a, a participle phrase and this participle phrase is describing uh, the word person. So you can see that a participle, uh, be it present participle or past participle uh, can be post modifier. The parts made in Japan are considered good parts. Made in Japan is past participle phrase and it is modifying uh, the word parts. So participle, be it present participle or past participle can be modifier too. A clause can be post modifier. The man who is writing the letter uh, is a brilliant student. Who is writing the letter is a clause. The girl who is wearing the black t-shirt is my sister. Who is wearing the black t-shirt is a clause describing the word girl. So uh, a clause can be a post modifier. A position can also be. Korim, student of Oxford University, is a brilliant student. Student of Oxford University is a position here. Uh, so you can see a position can be post modifier too. So an adjective can be post modifier, an adverb can be post modifier, uh, a phrase can be post modifier, a clause can be post modifier, uh, a um, participle, be it present participle, past participle can be post modifier, a position can be post modifier. And you need to know all these types of modifiers. Uh, if you watch the two videos, I will give in the description section, you will be able to understand this lecture better. Thank you very much for watching this lecture. Thank you. Take care. Bye.